Doom from 2016 is an absolute beast of a game when it gets going. First hour is not that good as you don't have the tools nor the enemy variation, but when these are introduced it shines extremely bright. Gameplay of Doom is from the surface quite simple, but underneath there is a ton of mechanics to weapons. From upgrades to completely change your arsenal styles and challenges to finish with those. Movement is fast and easy, which is good since the levels have quite a bit of exploration. Exploration comes in forms of climbing and jumping all around the environment. There are collectibles, hidden original Doom levels to be played and challenge arenas, which open up the tree from dozens of passive bonuses to your character. Levels can at times be too maze-like or too open, but majority of exploration is unnecessary if not wanted by the player. Fighting arenas are well done and offer a lot of cover and open areas with fast movement, even with some jump pads and portals from Quake games. Most weapons of Doom have secondary fire which depends on your current upgrade. For example, shotgun can be turned into grenade launcher or burst firing variation. Machine gun can be turned into halos, needler basically, or sniper rifle, or as rocket launcher to lock and shoot homing missiles and so on. These changes can be done on the fly mid combat depending on what you need. Weapons have upgrades which you receive points for by playing the game and doing level challenges. As an example, killing certain enemies in different ways. After fully point upgrading your gun, you receive a gun challenge which you can perform to unlock the full potential that of that weapon. Chainsaw now has charges and the larger the enemy, the more gas charges the chainsaw takes. Chainsaw is now one of two panic buttons for easy kill and fountain of ammunition among BFG that has three charges and kills pretty much everything. Glory kills are quick animation based kills from a button prompt when enemies are flashing or stunned after receiving enough damage. This style of kill places you in invulnerable for animation duration and then spawns health because these mechanics are used in all its balance and to create a hectic, satisfying and rhythmic chaos. Most of the classic Doom enemies are there in a new form. Enemies have a lot of different attacks to tactics, from just rushing to you and to jumping walls and drawing fireballs at you as an enemy. Many encounters are arena-like situation, kinda like from Quake multiplayer arenas, with a lot of verticality for you and for the demons. Demons have all received a great amount of speed to all of their actions and movements. Mangabus might be the only one that is still slow, but still able to climb up and down. Mix of demons in fights, especially during the end, is beautiful to witness. Demons are all so unique, and while they are all moving together, it's almost like coordination as assault. Music is extremely well combined with the gameplay and very talentfully composed. Game's music adapts to the situations at times and it gives a harmony and right mood for the right times. Weapons and demons have very impactful audio designs and feel great among the gameplay as they sound like they are actually doing something. 